The historic Thomas Whaley House was built in 1853. It is one of the most recognizable, haunted, historic homes in all of California. It is a two-story, mid-19th century Greek revival on San Diego Avenue. At the time, the house cost just $10,000 to build. It is now a museum with 100,000 visitors yearly. Since the beginning, the house has had many purposes. Thomas Whaley came to the West in 1849 during the gold rush. He arrived in San Francisco and then came down south to San Diego. He bought the property in 1853 and built what we now see as a courthouse, which was originally meant to be a rat-proof granary. It wasn't really rat-proof. He should have known. He was from New York, but he made it happen. Uh, it was a granary for a small amount of time, and then it was rented out as different things. Victor Santana works at the Whaley House. He's learned much of the home's past and likes to share it with others. The house is beautifully decorated from the period. Each room looks as it did in the mid-1800s. Whaley claimed it was the best house in San Diego. Thomas Whaley owned the general store and was quite successful. He, along with his wife Anna and their six children, would move into their new home in Old Town. Despite their many successes, there would be much sorrow after the death of six family members in the house. We have Thomas Whaley. He's the man that built the house. He passed away in downtown San Diego in 1890 of natural causes. We believe that sometimes you might smell his cigar smoke. His wife Anna passed away in the house in 1913. We believe you might smell her lavender perfume. So we have Yankee Jim, we have Thomas, we have Anna, and we have Dolly. Dolly's probably my favorite. She's known for licking your leg. She'll lick your leg, she'll brush up against your leg, and she'll lick your toes. It's a dog. While there are many ghosts in the Whaley House, it's probably the ghost of Yankee Jim Robinson that is the most visible. It is said the ghost of Yankee Jim existed even before the house was built. There's a lot of stories about the house being haunted. One of the main stories that we hear is the story of Yankee Jim Robinson. Before the house was built in 1852, on this site they had the gallows, and they tell the story of Yankee Jim, a man who was executed on the property for stealing a rowboat. Now back then, the average height for men was about five foot three, five foot five. Yankee Jim was six four. When they hang Yankee Jim, they don't take the correct measurements, so his feet could still touch the ground. Instead of breaking his neck, he got strangled for a few minutes and then he passed away. Yankee Jim was convicted of grand larceny and hung at the gallows in the same location where the Whaley House sits. Many believe he was wrongly convicted, and that is why his spirit has never left and is often seen in the master bedroom. As we go up the staircase, remember the story of Yankee Jim Robinson. People claim as we come up, you might feel pressure on your chest or on your neck. All right, I'll let get, you know. When we get to the top, you might even have a bruise around your neck, so <laughs> have fun with that. I'll let you know if I feel any pressure then. Neither Victor or I felt any pressure as we walked up the stairs, but Victor was quite close to having an encounter with Thomas Whaley. Victor was closing the museum one night. So Mr. Whaley was uh, down looking at the people on the first floor. Mm -hmm. And we were closed by then, so. Um, guests were the ones that reported seeing Yankee Jim Robinson in the master bedroom. There are more ghosts, including one of the Whaley daughters. Some claim that Violet Whaley is one of the ghosts in the house. The family hit, had six kids, three boys and three girls. Violet Whaley, one of the daughters, uh, committed suicide in 1885 after a bad marriage. She went outside with her dad's gun, went into the outhouse, and she shot herself in the chest close to the heart. She was alive when they found her. She was brought into the house, and she passed away downstairs in the guest bedroom. Many believe that she haunts that room as well. On many occasions, visitors and staff say they've seen a ghost or felt some type of paranormal activity inside the home. Victor and I continue to look for ghosts in the house. This was San Diego's very first commercial theater. It was here in 1868 for about five months. Originally, they believed that it sat close to 150 people at that time. Again, people were smaller back then. A lot of our visitors, when they come here, they often report one smelling lavender perfume, which we believe has to do with the fact that Anna Whaley, the lady of the house, passed away in this room after it was turned back into a parlor. Another thing that might happen is people claim they see the ghost of the dog upstairs. Kids come up here and they'll describe a small 
you know, fluffy looking thing and they'll say it's a dog. Again, we believe that's probably Dolly. It isn't certain why the Whaley house is haunted and why the spirits of those who died in or around the house still remain.